Hello everyone, this is the Leica M10R, and this is basically the exact same camera as the Leica M10P, except that it is now 40 megapixels, actually closer to 41 megapixels, it's 40.83, I believe, or megapixels, but the way Leica works is that they actually round down and just call it 40 megapixels. And then the only other difference is it doesn't have the P branding with the Leica, you know, um, script on the top plate, and it has the red dot just like the M10. That's really literally the only difference in every other way in terms of the quiet shutter, in terms of the touch screen on the back, in terms of you know the menu system, in terms of how it operates, uh, everything is the same as the Leica M10P other than the sensor because you've got that new you know, 40 megapixel sensor. Now, why do I think that it's not likely that there's going to be uh, an M10RP? Well, they could do it, but this has already got the M10P uh, features in it other than the look of it. So all that they would be doing if they release M10RP is releasing the same camera without the red dot but with the script on top, the Leica Insignia script on top. And that's not really enough of a change to create a whole new camera model. Um, but you know, maybe they'll do it, but they won't maybe, be, but they probably won't be able to charge as much of an upcharge um, if they release that like they did in prior P versions. Because if you remember the difference between the Leica M10 and the Leica M10P, um, was quite a bit. It had a whole new shutter, had a quieter shutter, it had a touch screen where the M10 did not have the touch screen, and then it had the branding. So that was a lot of difference. But the Leica M10R already incorporates, you know, all that stuff. Now what they might do is release some special editions uh, eventually of the M10R um, that incorporate some of the P branding, like the script and without the red dot. You know, they might have some kind of special edition um, to that, but I have a hunch you're not going to see an M10RP uh, model. That's just my hunch. I mean, you, I'm not, I don't have any inside information and I have no idea what Leica might do, um, but that is certainly a hunch of mine. But anyway, I've been really quite happy with the uh, M10R so far. If you think about it, the added megapixels is almost double uh, the megapixels of the M10P, which was 24 megapixels and this is 40 megapixels. I mean, not quite double, but almost. And you know, in general practice for your pictures, if you don't crop or zoom in very much, you're not gonna notice that much difference because both cameras shoot really awesome high quality pictures. Um, however, when you zoom in to even 100 or 200% with the M10R, you really start noticing that it is much higher quality and that affords you the ability to just crop if you need to um, a lot more. Um, that's really much, pretty much the only difference. And operationally, it's pretty much the same. I think the buffer on the M10R is slightly slower by maybe one or two frames a second, but not much difference there. But generally, I've been really quite happy with the overall tonality of the pictures out of the M10R um, versus the M10P. So I am definitely someone who does like the added megapixels on the M10R, and I think it was you know, a worthy upgrade. Um, just real quick here, the lenses that you're looking at, this is the 35 Sumalux lens, and then I also have here the 50 Sumalux lens, which is uh, really my favorite lens. And I've talked about that before in other videos. I have done another video on why I shoot Leica M cameras, and I will link to that up here on the top right, so definitely check that out. And uh, I guess that's it for this video. Questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.